Okay, hey collector. So this is gonna be a warning slash PSA about dealing with people who are still like strongly tied or connected to people from their past, like people who are like procrastinating or refusing to close out cycles with people from their past. It's very important that you are mindful when you are dealing with these individuals because like as soon as the other lover, like usually people keep a hold of people from their past because they want to have that option. They don't want to lose that option. And I'm getting like the person that they are dealing with knows that. And as soon as whoever they were dating in the past realizes that this individual has started dating somebody new or has moved on, it seems to always trigger something. And the person that they were dealing with in the past will try to cause all kinds of havoc in a new relationship. So that's why it's important to have boundaries or set boundaries, definitely when it comes to exes or somebody dealing with somebody from their past. If somebody really wants to build with you, they will make time for you. They will make you a priority. If somebody is constantly like catering to an ex or making that person a priority, then that person nine times out of 10 is still in love with that ex or wanting to possibly keep some type of door open. You know, somebody can have, it could be a multitude of reasons why somebody would do that. You know, it could be a trauma response, you know, somebody that's afraid to let go of the past or somebody that's afraid to let go in general. So like somebody holds on to like, ex-lovers and things like that like and carrying that over into new relationships but like I said when that ex realizes that the individual is like moving on and dating that ex will come in and try to cause all type of drama and havoc in a relationship or a connection and if the person that you are dealing with is not over that ex that person will not have boundaries and it just puts you in a situation where you are dealing with a lot of unnecessary drama, things that you don't have to deal with and have you stressed out, have you carrying burdens and all of that other kind of stuff, the stuff that you don't have to deal with. So that's why it's important that you are very mindful. If somebody is like adamant about holding on to an ex or somebody is procrastinating in regards to closing out a cycle, that is a huge red flag. You do not want to go into a relationship or try to build with somebody that's still holding on to the past because that's impossible. Like you're trying to build and move forward and this person is still like holding on to the past or holding out hope for, you know, the past. And that shows that that person is not ready to date. That person is not ready to move forward. And that person is just going to end up wasting your time. So you have to be very mindful in regards to who you invest time and energy into. So you don't end up, like I said, stressed out with your heart broken years thrown down the drain your hair is gray your edges then fell out you stressed out your skin all of that like look here you have to protect your energy it is very important that you protect your energy and know your worth and know your value and set boundaries as well you have to set boundaries for yourself and you have to set boundaries for other people what you will and what you will not tolerate what you will and what you will not allow and sometimes people try to push your boundaries just so they can see what they can get away with when it comes to you people will disrespect you and do things that they know that they shouldn't be doing because they want to see how far they can go or what they can get away with. If you're gullible, what you're going to allow, what you're going to accept, what you're going to accept. If you are going to accept them having these, you know, options or holding on to these people from the past or, you know, procrastinating in regards to closing out cycles from the past like you know dealing with non-committal people like you have to be very mindful because you will end up with just a bunch of wasted time. So I just wanted to put that message out there. Make sure that you are mindful in regards to your energy and not all offers are good offers. Be mindful. Make sure that the person that you are dealing with is on the same page, on the same level, and that that person has done the healing work. That person is no longer dealing with the options that they were dealing with. That person is ready to move forward towards new opportunities. Somebody that has respect for themselves and somebody that has boundaries set in place and somebody that really truly wants to grow and move forward would not be holding on to somebody from the past or holding on to options from the past that person that shows that that person never really had faith in like going further in a connection with you if this person is still holding on to somebody from the past and maybe you could be holding on to options if you are dealing with somebody that's holding on to options so you're holding on to options from the past this person is holding on to options that they dealt with in the past like it's very important that you're mindful and you have like a understanding with your partner or whoever you're 
building with. People can only make you an option if you allow it. And please don't think these individuals are out here being naive because a lot of these people know full well what they're doing. If they can keep you as an option and hold on to the options from their past, they will do that. So just be mindful. But I just wanted to put this message out there.